Hi, this is Bill from Mega Teeth, and I just wanted to show you this Mastodon jaw that I found a couple weeks ago. Um, you might have seen it on Facebook and some pictures, also maybe on the local news. Um, it turned out to be a really great piece. When I first found it, it felt like it was going to be a little fragile, but it, since it's dried, it's hardened up better. Oh, oh my lord. Is that it? I hope so, yeah. Okay. Look at that. That is unreal. I wish I had a way to mark that spot. <laughs> <laughs> I looked all over for about a half hour for it, the it, other... Uh... This would have been a jawbone, the lower left jawbone, from an adult mastodon, probably 8 to 10 feet tall, about 6 tons in weight. Uh, all I found was the lower left jawbone, and it had two molars in it. I've gone back quite a bit and tried to find more from it, but uh, it just doesn't seem to be there. Uh, possibly what happened is when the, when the mastodon died, uh, it might have fallen in the mud or the water where its uh, left jawbone, lower left jawbone was covered in water and mud. And that part fossilized, but the part that was exposed to air just crumbled as it decomposed. So it may be that I'll never find any more uh, from that jaw. Uh, really cool thing about this jawbone uh, is that the teeth both are removable and they're both in very good condition. Uh, on a mastodon tooth, the upper part was the chewing surface, it has this enamel cap, and it also has a root. When you find mastodon teeth, you very rarely find the root. Usually the new tooth came in and crushed the root or the root didn't fossilize very well. So it's just rare to find a tooth with a root in it let alone a jawbone with two teeth. And like I said, both teeth are removable. I'm going to be really careful because I don't want to break them. And both of them have a pretty nice root and a very nice chewing surface, the enamel cap. And like I said, this would have been from a, an adult, a large adult mastodon. Scientists kind of differ in their thoughts about when the mastodon went extinct. You'll hear reports where they went extinct 10 to 12 thousand years ago and it was caused by man or uh, you know being hunted out of existence then you'll see other reports where they've done a uh, type of radiocarbon dating that shows that they went extinct longer than 50,000 years ago closer to 75,000 years ago and that would be before man uh, was in the area and then you know that would have uh, obviously been for another reason so you really can't get a good consensus on when they went extinct. So that's the mastodon jaw bone I found. It's really one of the best finds I've ever found. Really excited about it. And I'm going to put it aside and show you a couple more teeth that um, I found recently that are similar or a little bit different. I'm going to show you a couple more teeth that I found recently. This is another adult mastodon tooth. I found it recently. You'll notice it has a different color. I found it in a whole different area. The color of a fossil um, is caused by sediment that it sat in while it was fossilizing. So the, the minerals in the river that I found this tooth were different than the river the river where I found the jawbone. Uh, but this is another adult mastodon tooth, a little bit of wearing on the top of the cap. And again, this would be a large adult. And I also have a juvenile mastodon tooth. This would be from a much uh, younger creature. And so you can see, you can find the teeth in different sizes. Uh, you find very few teeth uh, from the younger mastodon. So this was a really special find. And you notice the darker colors because it came from a different river. Now there's another tooth that you find every once in a while, and they're, they're a lot rarer, more rare than the mastodon tooth. And they look a lot alike. And this is a, called the Gumpotherium. It was a uh, elephant type creature that lived a lot longer than the mastodon. Scientists think the mastodon went extinct anywhere from 12,000 to 75,000 years. The Gumpotherium, they think, went extinct over 3 million years ago, so it lived a lot, a lot earlier. But you can see the tooth is about the same size. The elephant was also the same size. They were about uh, 8 to 10 tons uh, as an adult. Uh, and it, it's really hard to tell the difference sometimes. The only uh, way is if you put them next to each other, you'll see that the um, tooth has more uneven rows, whereas the mastodon are even sets, whereas the gumpotherium, they uh, tend to not be quite as even. Uh, 
the that the wearing is very similar, the shape of the tooth is very similar, um, and a lot of times people confuse the two. But the gump Ethereum is a lot older and it is a lot more rare. The one difference uh, between the Mastodon and the gump Ethereum is the gump Ethereum actually had four tusks. It had two lower tusks and they think they used that to dig up the ground to, to help find food uh, when it was foraging for food. Uh, so that's the you know two of the elephant type creatures that lived here million, uh, anywhere from millions of years to thousands of years ago. Uh, it's hard to believe that there were elephants in Georgia. Uh, you know, a lot of people are surprised when they hear that. They'll say, you know, you find shark teeth, and what else do you find? And when I start telling them about the mastodon, they always say, in Georgia, they can't believe it. Or, it's, you know, in the southeast, they, they don't know that they actually existed then, but they did.